Police can utilize available resources and engage in income generating activities besides their official responsibilities. State Minister for Higher Education, Dr. John Chrysostom Muyungo, says this can reduce cases of corruption in police. This was contained in the minister's speech read for him by his personal assistant in Bamunanika, Abdul Karim Waswa, during a familiarization tour of various police projects supported by Minister Muyingo at Bamunanika Police. <laughs> The police project supported by Dr. Moyingo include the building under construction. He supported with a hundred bags of cement, perimeter wall, stone crushing projects and brick making, besides maize flour, rice and cooking oil. <laughs> The officer in charge, Bamnanika Police, ASP Paul Weyo, commended Dr. Moyingo for the support to the police in the area. We are building, slowly by slowly, with the help of the government, Wanainchi, and us, we, we put our energy together to see that we can have something reasonable for, for police officers to stay in, using our small resources we have. For example, that brick project you see, we saw there behind, uh, the stone you saw here. We try to combine resources and the Honorable Jesse Mwingo is helping us to supply us with cement mainly. So we are very grateful. Relatedly, Minister Moyengo has encouraged communities in Luero to embrace government programs aimed at poverty alleviation and cautioned them against politicizing them. He was addressing communities in Namawo Jazirobe in Bamunanika County. Mary Namkose, Fred Kasivante, UBC News.